Welcome all to the next practical session of Blender. This is the part two of modeling, and in this session, we would enhance our knowledge in 3D modeling and create a mug using more advanced techniques of Blender. There are many ways in which the elements can be created in Blender. It all depends upon how much you know, practice, and more on to your creativity and visualization skills. As I already told that Blender is a bit complex as compared to other 3D softwares, but once you get hold over the shortcuts, the basics of Blender, it would be very easy to handle and work around. Uh, so one Guru Mantra I just want to give you guys for uh, learning this Blender software is that practice, practice and practice and be creative. Additionally, I would like to quote about Pareto's principle here, which is also known as your 80-20 rule. Pareto principle is basically a prediction that 80% of effects come from 20% of causes. The same thing applies to the software. So what I just want to say is that, that 80% of the elements, whatever you are just going to create in Blender, they can be created uh, using 20% of the features of uh, of the Blender software. Fine. So with this, uh, I'm just going to start up this particular session. Uh, this session is basically designed uh, for my audience in such a way so that my audience get acquainted with some more advanced techniques of Blender. So without wasting time, let's start. So now what we are just going to do, we are just going to uh, design or develop one uh, model, 3D model, which would be a model of a uh, mug. Fine. <clears throat> For that particular thing, uh, firstly, what you have to understand is the basic geometry of mug. Fine. So, if let us suppose I am just going to start up with this cube. So, I have to just make on some extra effort to just bring it uh, into the shape uh, of that particular cup. But if I am just going to start up with the basic geometry of a mug, then obviously I would uh, going to take some less time. So, initially I have to understand that what is the basic geometry of any model what I am just going to design in this uh, 3D software. So, as we know that the basic design of cup is, uh, is more or less a type of a cylindrical form. So, I am just going to start up with a cylinder and then we are just going to uh, edit its vertices, edges and faces to just give it a, a nice look of a cup. Fine. So right now what I'm just going to do that I'm just going to delete this additional mesh which is just lying in this uh, 3D view. So for delete, uh, I hope you remember the uh, shortcuts that is delete key or you can press X. So I'm pressing delete key and I'm just going to delete that. Now I just want to add some model into that. For adding a model I had just told you the shortcut that is shift plus A. Otherwise what you can do, you can simply go to this add panel and from here See, there is, a, um, there is a button saying mesh. Underneath your mesh, you have the different uh, meshes or primitives available with you. So I am just going to click onto this uh, cylinder. Fine, so I have just clicked onto that type of a cylinder. Now I am entering into front viewport. For entering into front viewport, the shortcut is one. Fine, so now I am just going to make it, uh, you can say, I'm just going to scaling up this particular uh, mesh so that it is just going to take the basic geometry of mug. For that, what I'm just going to do, I'm just simply pressing S for scaling and under your Z axis, I'm just going to scaling it up. Fine. Similarly, I'm pressing S for scaling and in your Y panel, I'm just going to increase its size and again pressing S, X just want to make it a bit thicker so this is this is a type of a basic geometry what i basically want for my cup i am just going to design a corporate style mug or corporate style cup into this uh, software now uh, it it basically all depends upon you what type of basic geometry you basically want for that cup but i just know uh, i just want a complete simple and a corporate style look for this particular mug. So now what I'm just going to do, 
obviously i have to edit this mug for editing this mug i have to enter into my edit mode fine so as soon as i enter into my edit mode you can see now i can edit this particular object <clears throat> and i had already told you that for editing some object there are three different modes in which you can work one is your vertices mode second is your edge mode and third is your faces mode so now what i am just going to do that i am just going to enter into my faces mode but uh, before that i have to deselect that object so i have pressed a now i am entering into my faces mode and i have just clicked on to that type of stuff and i am saying delete as soon as i press x or delete key uh, it will ask me that what area i need to delete its vertices its edges its faces only edges and faces and only faces i would say faces so as soon as i just clicked on to that type of stuff you can see now this uh, uh, cup is uh, basically uh, emptied fine one more thing i just want to do i am just entering into my object mode i am just seeing it as bit not in a proper form so i am doing s and in my xs xs i am just trying to give it a shape okay fine so again entering into my object mode pressing 1 i am entering into my front mode so this is what i had done i had emptied this type of a cup fine now after that as i uh, already told you that i am just going to design a corporate uh, style of a mug so this is the basic geometry for that type of a thing now i have to concentrate on its handle for making a handle again there are different type of ways in which we can actually uh, create the handle of a mug i can just create some additional geometry and just try to put it around here so it will look like its handle but obviously if i am just going to create some additional object and i am just going to put it put it around in that particular way the problem is that it will not look natural i just want to give a natural look so for that see i am just going to use one technique i am repeating that there are n number of techniques but i am just going to use one technique so just uh, look at your computer screens very carefully now i am just going to use one another mesh uh, in blender that is something about your uh, curves we have not worked with curves so i am now now i am just going to work with curves which is again one of the advanced feature of blender so in this what i am just going to do i am just going to click on mesh and here firstly what you have to just remember one thing whenever you have to create some object in blender you need to be in your object mode so we have to come around in object mode now what i have to do add mesh and from here what i am just going to do is i just want to create one curve fine otherwise i will press shift plus a and from here i will say curve and under this i am just creating one path fine you can go from here to add panel or simply you can uh, hit the shortcut shift plus a i prefer the shortcuts so that's why i had just try to create my uh, curve with the help of this shortcut so now i am just going to edit this curve for editing the curve obviously i have to enter into my object mode then see this curve or this path it has some vertices you can see the vertices in your computer screen so now what i have to do i have to edit these vertices now for selecting the vertex i already told you the shortcuts that is simply you have to press the right click and i am just going to edit the vertices of this handle fine now i'm just going to give a nice look of a handle so just let me quickly do that so i am playing around with the vertices now it again going to depend upon that what type of handle basically you are trying uh, trying to prefer i 
I'm trying to give a basic geometry of handle. Fine. So this is what I had done. So I am just entering into my object mode and just bringing this handle here. So right now it's bit, uh, you can say, bigger than the cup. So for that, what I have to do, I have to press S and I'm just scaling it down, trying to bring out here, again entering into my edit mode and trying to replicate the above, above front or the front which is over here with the bottom front of the cup. Fine. So, okay. Object mode. Now we have to just see uh, where this object basically this curve rather lies. For that I am just pressing into 7 and I am just trying to see where it is being placed. Okay fine. Again entering into front mode by pressing 1. Now this is a simple path. Now what we have to do again just uh, look the computer screen very carefully. I am just going to add one another shape here. Shift plus A under your curve I am just going to have this circle. Fine. <clears throat> so as soon as I am just going to click onto this particular circle this is again a type of a uh, path. Fine. So I am just making it size a bit smaller. Fine. Now what I am just going to do, I am just going to put the shape of this circle around this path. This is what I am aiming for. So for that what we have to do, we have to simply click onto this path and from our properties panel, we have to go to this small button which basically depicts your uh, curve. So I am just going to click onto this and here under geometries panel, what you are just going to do under this geometry panel, you have to go to this bevel object. So as soon as you are just going to click onto this bevel object, it displays whatever the objects or whatever the curves are just going to be placed in your 3D file. So simply you have to click onto this Bezier circle. So as soon as I, you had just clicked onto uh, this Bezier circle, you might have seen that uh, that circle has basically taken up the shape of this particular path. Fine. So okay. So now what I just want, right now if we are just going to look at uh, the geometry of a cup, it is more or less, uh, it is not like smoothened out. It has some faces but when we are just going to look towards the uh, handle of a cup, it is more or less smoothened out. So I just want to actually match both, the, uh, both these geometries. For that what we have to do, we have to click onto this uh, handle and again what I am just going to do under this uh, curves panel only, there is one concept of resolution under you can see this is the resolution. Resolution basically depicts that how uh, this model, whatever the model it is, how it looks like, what is the basic geometry of that. Right now the preview mode uh, displays 12 vertices or you can say 12 geometries. So I am just going to make it one. So as soon as I am just going to make it one, you can see, taken some another shape, fine. So but yes, that is fine. Again, let me just repeat the step for your convenience. What we had done, we had simply uh, selected this path, Bezier circle, that is fine. Now, when I am just trying to uh, like change the geometry of this path, it has changed the geometry, but if you might have seen it properly, the shading part was not changed. The shading path was not changed but our, our basic target is to change the shading path rather than to change the basic geometry. So for this rather than selecting the path now what I am just trying to do I am just going to select this circle. So as soon as I am just going to click onto that circle and again under this resolution panel I am just going to change from 12 to 1. So now see. Now 
the path geometry has not been changed but the geometry for circle has been changed to this uh, small rectangle form this is what i am just aiming for so once we are done with this fine now what i am just going to do i am entering into my front mode just making it bit smaller now what we have to do we have to connect this handle with this mug fine so for this i need some faces uh, on to cup which is right now it is missing so for that what we have to do we have to select our mug and i am entering into my edit mode and pressing edges and control r i hope you remember this control r this is for loop cut so what i am just going to do i am just going to make some faces and for making some faces i am just going to take the help of a uh, loop cut fine so i am just going to make one loop cut here again control r just making another loop cut here control r making another loop cut here control r making another uh loop cut here but see there is one issue now what again i have to do first of all just try to make the loop cut at the bottom side and then control r make it for this side fine so we had just try to make some loop cuts okay again entering into our object mode nothing has happened but uh, now i am just going to do the simple things but before that firstly what i have what i just want that this particular handle should be placed at a proper position so let me just press r to rotate it around so that it should be properly placed and after that i am just entering into my orthographic view then pressing 7 i am just trying to see where this object is i am just trying to see where my object is just going to place it out so that when i'm just going to connect both shapes there is no any problem so right now it is placed properly fine so now okay again i am entering into my front mode and right now uh, when i'm just going to hit my handle the problem is a uh, handle is still if you are just going to see it's a nerves path it is still uh, basically Uh, 3D uh, software blender. Still, it is taking this particular handle as a path, but I just need this handle to be a mesh. So now, what I have to do? I have to convert this path into a mesh, and for that, the shortcut is Alt plus C. Alt plus C. So as soon as I will hit that, it will say mesh from curve. Fine. So I am just going to hit onto that type of a thing. so as soon as i am ju just going to click on to this now uh, this particular shape uh, uh, this path has been converted into your mesh fine so now if i am just going to delete this uh, circle also uh, which we had taken in paths uh, nothing is just going to happen to this particular mesh so now we have two meshes with us now what i am just going to do that i am just going to press both these meshes by hitting shift and i am saying control j control j is for joining the objects fine so now what has happened now this cup as well as its handle they have become one object fine this is what i uh, want and the shortcut for that is control j fine so now what i am just going to do i am now i am just going to enter into the edit mode fine and what we are just going to do is we have to now add some additional faces onto this handle as well as onto this particular cup so that it will look like that the handle is uh, getting connected with the uh, edges of that particular mug for that particular thing what we have to do we have to enter into edge mode so i'm just going to click onto this edge mode but before that yes what you uh, what you have to do if i'm just going to simply click on to this edge and try to just get it connected with this the faces are already being placed on to this particular cup we have to firstly delete these faces so for that firstly i'm just going to hit on to this faces right click for selecting this face shift right click delete what delete faces edges or vertices i want faces so now it has been emptied fine similarly this is what i'm just going to do 
select this by hitting right click then shift right click and delete faces so now see it has been emptied now i am just going to connect the edges of this cup with this handle for that what i have to do i have to just click on to this edges panel click this this edge then shift top edge of this and this and simply press f as soon as you are just going to hit f it will create additional faces uh, fine similarly shift and this we are just going to select this and simply press f at the bottom side also this one shift shift press f similarly here this this and this press f fine similarly at the downside this this and this press f here this 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 f click on to this this click here then this this press f similarly here this this and this and press f so as soon as i'm just going to click on to that you can see if i'm just going to enter into object mode now the handle has been connected fine this is fine but still if you're just going to look into your cup this is emptied and it doesn't has any volume so now i just want to add some volume into my cup and for that particular thing again i am entering into my edit mode and what i am just going to do i am just going to click into this uh top edge ring uh, and if you just want to select the complete edge ring what you have to do you have to simply click on to one edge and then you have to press alt as soon as you are just going to click on to that alt whole edge loop uh, would be selected the corresponding edge loop would be selected so i have just selected this edge loop and now what i'm just going to do i'm just going to do some extrude so for that i'm simply saying e extrude and simply after pressing e i have to just give a simple left click so i have just extruded the object onto its place this is what i just want to aim for now again what i'm just going to do i'm just going to scale fine so i have just pressed scale and i am simply saying 0.90 so uh, like this is what i have just tried to achieve i have firstly tried to extrude it at uh, at that particular point by pressing e and then pressing left uh, mouse click after that i hit s for scaling then uh, scaling like i have just given a scaling of 0.90 and yani 90% so this is what it has tried to achieve now i am just entering into my front view uh i am just going to tell you one another shortcut that is z z is basically a shortcut for uh, toggling between your wireframe mode and solid mode fine so i am pressing z for entering into my wireframe mode so now what i am just going to do again i just want to extrude the thing i am pressing e now extruding in what direction i want extrude in z direction so i am pressing z and simply i am just dragging this particular thing till to my base fine and i am entering into my object mode so z now you can see um the inner part has uh, got some volume fine so this is what i was just aiming for now right now it is looking very uh, zaggy means it has some faces now i just want to smoothen this particular thing for smoothing your cup i am just uh, uh, telling you one uh, modifier right now uh, this is not the aim of this particular session so simply uh, you have to see what i am just trying to do in uh, the next session i am just going to cover something about the modifier so simply see what i am just trying to do in this last step i am just uh, selecting this cup and under my properties panel i am hitting this small icon which is a form of a wrench fine as soon as i am just going to click on to that wrench and say add modifier there are n number of modifiers here and i am simply clicking on subdivision surface so as soon as i am just going to hit on to this subdivision surface it has tried to smoothen out my object so i just want to smoothen it bit more so under my views panel i am just going to say 2 or might be 3 up to you wherever you are just going to get comfortable with the shape of your cup 
so this is what has happened fine i think i am just happy with two only because uh, remember one thing more smoothing you are just trying to give to that particular object more rendering time it would take and more heavier would be your file okay that is fine for me and uh, you might have rem uh, remembered that uh, i think in uh, previous session uh, we had just uh, created one um, one plate also so you can just bring out your plate into this uh, particular scene so this is the time where i just want to tell you that how you can just bring out your objects into your uh, uh, into your software and how you are just going to save your file so right now in this particular session i am just trying to tell you one thing that how you are just going to save your file in blender till now we haven't saved our file in blender and for that particular thing what we have to do simply you have to go to file save as so as soon as you are just going to enter into this save as mode so at this particular panel you are just seeing the url that where you just want to save your file so let us suppose uh, i have my work on desktop and uh, i am just saving my file in for blender's folder so i have just clicked on to this i have just given a, a root path for saving my files and at this particular uh, place you can give the name of the file whatever the name you just want to assign to your blender file let us suppose i just want to say mug so i have say mug and i will say save as blender file so as soon as i have just clicked on to that so i have saved this file on to my um a proper place where i just want to save this file so thank you all uh with this i am just winding up my session and in this session we have tried to see some uh,